Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are finally back with the next part of Love Island Day 6. So if you haven't seen the past few days, go check them out. But we are here, we are on day 6, and things are starting to get interesting. We have the two new boys on the island. What drama is going to happen? You know it's going to be crazy. So without further ado, let's get into this new day. If you enjoy it, hit that like button. If you want to see more Love Island, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's start the drama. You blink your eyes open and look around. Morning, ladies. I hope it's so cheery this morning. <laughs> Please shut up. Like, oh, I want to say this so badly. We're just going to start with a good morning. We're going to just get on her good side, you know. Hope smiles at you. It's nice to see my girls waking up in a good mood. Most of the boys seem to have gone for an early morning gym session. <laughs> you look around and realize she's right. Bobby is gone. Noah is the only boy still in bed curled up next to Hope. So I thought this would be a good time for us girls to catch up. Priya sits up to join in the conversation. I bet Henrik was the one getting them to work out early in the morning. I I'm sure it was Henrik, bless. I love his energy. Priya, that is so cute. Why don't you go after him? Please go after him. And I don't think I'm the only one. She looks at you and winks, oh, sweetheart, I don't have an eye on Henrik. Um, you're wrong about that, girlie. Am I? Yeah, I saw you two having a little chat up on the roof terrace. I said, we had a chat. It, it was a chat, trust me. Hope props herself up on her elbows, keenly interested. You and Henrik, huh? Hope so keen to know what's going on. We're just going to be friends. I don't want Henrik. So you won't mind if someone else wants to get to know him. Please, Priya, go after him. Hope checks to make sure Noah is still asleep. I don't think you girls would blame me if I was a little bit interested in new boys coming in. But I didn't think I was the only one. Someone else seemed to take a little shine to one of them yesterday. She gestures over at Lottie and Lottie's eyes immediately flick open. I can sense when you're talking about me, you know. Asti, that's so weird. No, I'm just kidding. I was, I was about to say, like, you know she was awake in the minute we mentioned her. She, whoosh, her eyes went flying open. Priya turns to Lottie. What are you thinking about the new boys then? Lottie scowls at her. There's still so much tension between those two. Uh-oh, I like them. And I'm not exactly falling head over heels for Rocco. <gasps> so I definitely think my head could be turned. Oh, okay, so Lottie's out here admitting she's not here for Rocco. Should Lottie stick with Rocco or try someone new? Um, I, I don't know who she'd be good with. Lucas seems like your type. Just maybe Lucas. Maybe she should spend some more time with him. You do that, sis. I think I'm going to chat to the boys today and try to work out what's what. Maybe see if I can't work my magic on one of them. That's the best thing about the situation, really. There's seven boys and five girls. We've got a whole buffet of boys to choose from. And with numbers like that, I'm pretty sure we're not going to be the ones going home next. Make a change. You glance over at Noah still sleeping next to Hope. So is Hope still all over heads over heels over Noah? Or is this her like weird way of being like, oh, I want someone else? With this many boys, it's like, pick your favorite. Hope it doesn't seem bothered she's saying all this in front of Noah. I was about to say, like, what if he's awake? Should I say something? Um, I thought you were set on Noah. I am, but we both know we're here to have a good time. I'm just enjoying the eye candy. We've got a whole day with nothing to do but check out the new boys. I was hoping we could all take a step back from the drama and enjoy this time for what it is. A day in the sun and enough sexy men to make two boy bands. Or three man, two man strip acts. Or we choose one boy to each be our servant for the day and then we make the two leftover boys wrestle. <laughs> well, whatever your thing is, today is going to be fun. Hope so. Today's all about us girls grafting on whoever we want. I better make sure I look the part. Okay, let's get her in her dress. Oh, wait, do I have any of these dresses? Oh, gosh. Um. Okay, like I honestly cannot put myself in that one again i'm so tired of it this is cute actually go with this one like if i saw that red shirt one more time you're just about to head outside when bobby catches up with you in the bedroom wow thought tella i'm sure i'll be hit with the sugar rush soon why your new look is so sweet <laughs> thank you bobby thank you bobby <laughs> we were on the same wavelength me and thought tella he glances around have you got a minute? You look around the bedroom, is empty. Uh, do I want to chat? I've always got time for you. Of course we have time for Bobby. That's so sweet. You like, you're like the white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. Wasn't he always late? 
Oh, maybe. You know, it works. It's, it, it works, Bobby. It's fine. He talked about time a lot. That's what I remember. Anyway, what's up? I just wanted to find out where your head's at with the new boys coming in and everything. I know you said before that you weren't that interested, but I wanted to know how you felt this morning. Okay, Bobby's trying to see how I'm going to play it with the new boys. Um, Honestly, like, okay, like, what's his name is, like, nice, but I'm not really head over heels. I'm... I'm gonna see how things I'm just I'm gonna just see how things go to be quite honest they only came in yesterday I hadn't really made a plan or anything I was just gonna say that I know what it's like when new people come in you saw what happened with Priya I get it sounds like Bobby's saying he doesn't mind if I get to know the new boys how should I handle this you're sweet I'm not gonna crack on with them you're sweet thanks I was just trying to be upfront about it okay obviously this is great for you girls we loved it when we there were more girls in the villa, but it's not fun if the shoes on the other foot. Why does our character look so angry? She's like, one of us boys is definitely in danger at the next recoupling, and we're all feeling it. Well, don't worry, Bobby. Why else do you think Gary's been out there doing weights all morning? Uh, Bobby's worried about his... Okay, let's just reassure him with a kiss, because we're not letting him go home, like, one way or another, like, he's staying. You lean in and gently brush your lips against his... We're all good. Oh, we got some points with him too. I'm so happy. Glad out of the room leaving Bobby with his mouth hanging open and we'll give him a view on the way out. Well, I guess it's time to see what everyone else is up to. And maybe get to know some of these boys a bit better. I don't really care about these boys. Who should I spend time with first? Um, let's do... I guess we'll just do... Oh, wow, they're really all the way over there. I want someone to be like up there or something. Um... Let's go see. I'm going to let Lottie stick it out down there. Let's go check out. Let's just see what, like, ho- well, let's, oops. Okay, I, it, just, it just picked one. So, Hope, Noah, and Marissa are lounging on the day as you walk over. Noah has his head in Hope's lap, and she's plucking at his eyebrows with a pair of tweezers. So, what's up? Vatella, you were looking so, so good in that outfit. Oh, thanks, Hope. Okay, what do I want to talk about? I just want to chill. What are you guys guys doing? Not much, to be honest. Just watching them just play the field. You didn't go and chat to Henrik yet, did you? No, we don't need to. I don't want to go chat with Henrik. Am I going to talk to the new boys? I'd rather just talk to Bobby, to be quite honest. That's what I thought, too. I'd rather be here with Noah. It's like, if there was genuinely a new boy that I really liked that came on the island that I thought we clicked with, I would go and talk to him. But I don't really care for Henrik and what's his name? Lucas. See, I don't remember his name, so he's not that important to me, quite honest. It's fine. So, she pats his head and then kisses him. Luckily, he feels the same way, too. You think it's lucky that I don't want to go and graft on the new boys? (laughs) I've been watching Henrik and Gary. Henrik is so animated, but Gary is much more reserved. It's almost like they want to be friends, but Gary isn't sure yet because all the boys are in competition. I bet Lottie's flirting with Henrik and Gary is jealous that he's not getting as much attention. Don't you think that's likely, Tatella? Um, I expect Lottie's... Uh, I expect Lottie is trying it. I don't know. I knew it. That's good for both of them. I didn't want her to be trying it on with Gary. I don't think that would work. Marisol turns her eyes back to the gym. I don't think Gary and I are going to work out. Ooh, you've watched him flirting at the gym for 10 minutes and now you think he's not the one? Uh, you're the one coupled up with him. I think the decision should be based on a bit more than that. Oh, Noah, sweetheart, like, trust me. Noah's right and I think you're looking for a way out. Marisol R just slightly as though she's uncomfortable with Hope's suggestion. You know he's totally into you, right? I know and I don't know how I feel about that. What if someone else in here is a better match for me? I don't know. I've been watching Rocco and Lucas chatting and I think their body language is very interesting. It's almost as if they're in a competition for Prey's attention but they don't want to admit it. Look at how Lucas stands with his head tilted like he's listening intently. And Rocco is standing in almost exactly the same pose, just reversed. Doesn't it seem like Rocco is a little flustered? Do you think he's worried about losing face in front of the new boys? Or maybe someone else is on his mind. Uh, Marisol seems to think about Rocco. Why do you care about Rocco so much? I don't know, really. Oh, do you? I'm just interested in what's going on around here, that's all. By the way, did you go and chat to Bobby and Abraham? Not yet. Perhaps you should. I saw Ibrahim and Bobby heading off together, and I was sure I heard them talking about something to do with cactuses and sports. I have no idea what that's about. What? Interesting. Okay. 
So, all right, let's go talk to Bobby and them then. Do you have to watch an ad? Bobby and Abraham are whispering to each other when you walk over. What are you guys talking about? Oh, it's nothing. That's It's nothing. It's, well, sportswear. Oh, man, now you've given it away. What are they talking about? Given what away? Just pretend you got to play the coupled up court. Act like you're not bought. Just ask them again. It doesn't sound like nothing. What is it? Okay, it's not nothing. Bobby sighs. Okay, we'll tell you, but only if you don't go around telling everyone yet. Otherwise, it won't be funny. Is that cool? <laughs> yeah, I want in. Like, what is this? Great. What's this all about then? Now these new guys have come in, we thought it would be really funny if we came up with some ridiculous word and pretended we all knew what it meant. What? If a few of us start using it, I bet we can get Lucas and Henrik saying it all the time. <laughs> that's actually kind of fun. That's so that's funny, actually. Yeah, it does. Check these out. We can't decide between succulent, ice robot, and sportswear. Oh, do succulent. That's just such a, like, just saying succulent is so weird to me. Yeah, there's those plants that are like cactuses, but not spiky. Is it cactuses or cacti? Cactuses, obviously. Anyway, if something is really good or not spiky, you could be like, that's so succulent. Okay, what about Ice Robot? Okay, it's one of the favorite, my favorite comic. So if something is really chill, you could like, that's so Ice Robot. Anyway, we need to choose one. Okay, I don't, I think succulent. Yeah, that's the best one for sure. It's totally succulent. <laughs> We're going to go chat to Henrik now. I love that you're in on with this, though. He kisses you on the cheek before running off. Okay, plus I want to get the points with Bobby. So let's go see what's happening with Lottie down here. Gary is working out when you walk over. Henrik is explaining something that involves waving his arms a lot. Lottie seems to be mostly enjoying the view. And then it's just cayenne, ginger, and turmeric, and you heat the whole thing very slowly and gently. That's so what I like. That's like so what I do, except I would use wild celery, white sage, and lavender. What's going on here? Like, what? Just go and chat with Gary. I'm not trying to talk to them. All right. He stops lifting, wipes his breath. Oh, you're not into this stuff either then. I don't know what they're talking about. Me neither, really. I'm not about any of those herbal remedies. It doesn't seem very scientific to me. We were just comparing notes about workout technique and we started talking about homemade muscle ointment. Homemade muscle rub, that sounds interest. that's interesting. I love hearing new ideas for homemade balms. I always recommend my recipe when I take new groups climbing. I like the recipe, but I don't know if I'm really into climbing, to be honest. What's not to like? It's a great couple's activity. It's so romantic being out in nature and you get a full body workout together too. I know all about that. I don't think I've ever been as sore as the day after my ex took me rock climbing. And not in a good way. Oh, so she didn't have a good experience. This is where my homemade ointment comes in. Having a great partner to climb with is great, but massaging each other afterwards is the best bit about a day on the rocks. Okay, that is... Can we skip... Okay, I'm not... I'm more of a dinner and a movie girl. I'm not... No, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's... Yeah. You're beautiful, but you don't exactly seem like the outdoors type. Disappointed, are you? That's fine. Please be more disappointed in us. I need to find someone who doesn't mind getting a bit sweaty with me. You have fun with that. Lottie Heights are giggling with her hands. Mate, you don't hold back, do you? What do you mean? I thought I was an open kind of guy, but you just straight up told Zotella what you think about her. And then... All that talk about massaging people getting sweaty together. It's like you just come out with that stuff without worrying about how it sounds. I suppose I don't. Henrik's a real straight talker. Um, you know, it's just, um, you're going to find it difficult in here. I don't freaking why. Not everyone here is like that. Some people are here to play the game. If there's one thing Thotella is, it's honest. Oh, thank you, Lottie. I know being direct or talking about something sensual like massage can be a bit unusual for some people. I have to be clear and direct the whole time when I'm at work. Doesn't matter if that's how to improve their climbing technique or prepare muscle ointment or start a campfire. I respect that. When I'm at work, I'm surrounded by big machines. It's always about clear communication and safety first in that situation. Look at you two bonding over machines and campfires and straight talking. Look at you guys. I thought Love Island was going to be all about cracking on. But it's more bromance than romance out here today. And what? We can't also get on and chat about stuff we're interested in? Oh, right. I guess we should leave you alone to discuss instruction manuals and flat pack furniture or something then. That does sound- Yo, you know what? You boys have fun with that. Gary grins at Henrik and shrugs. See yourself if that's what you want. 
Gary turns back to the weights bins and Henrik starts spotting him. This is about to turn into something interesting. Lottie turns to you. That didn't work as I planned. They're really going to make us work for their attention. Looks like it. Why don't we try and see if we can turn their heads? Okay, should I try? Let's just work together with Lottie, whatever. It sounds like a good idea. Let's just, I just want to start the drama. Lottie grins at you. Watch this. She clears her throat and speaks loudly on purpose. What do you think, Thotella? Which one of these two is fitter? Uh, who should I compliment? We'll just compliment Gary because I don't want Henrik. It's close, but it's got to be Gary for me. I just love the way his muscles bulge. Gary doesn't stop lifting, but he smiles like he heard. Lottie watches the boys a bit more. She furrows her brow like she's thinking carefully about what to say. I don't know if I could choose between them. I can't stop imagining all the things we could do together. A romantic evening hanging out by the docks. Camping out in the woods and freezing our bits off. I'm just such an outdoors and heavy machinery kind of girl. The thought of it all gets me so hot and bothered. <laughs> The boys' shoulders are heaving as they try not to laugh. Oh no, they know what we're doing. That's so embarrassing. Finish them off, Thotella. Okay, what's my best line? Watching these two work out makes me want to DIY myself. Oh my gosh, I let Gary operate my machinery anytime. Gary splutters and can't contain himself anymore. Oh my days, Thotella. All four of you burst out laughing. Okay, so we got their attention now. You did it, girls. Well played. And to you too. I knew we'd break you. So you didn't mean any of that? That's for us to know. For now. Oh, she winks you and walks off, leaving Henrik and Gary red face. You know what? I thought it's fun. You know what? Some of you were like, graft a bit more on everyone. So I am. We're keeping options open. You're walking across the lawn when you notice Rocco sitting by himself. I just don't trust this man. Hey. Oh, hey, sorry. I needed a moment to myself. Are you okay? I just get caught up thinking about how life could have been different. You know what? I don't care, Rocco. I'm, I don't care. You know how I was going to... Okay, I really don't care, dude. Um, Are you bantering me? Rocco runs his hair fingers gently through his hair. I mean, it looked like this back then, but it's true. I went to uni to study economics as soon as I left school. I had done really well in my A-levels, and one of my teachers at college had encouraged me to go. I was going to show everyone I was going to do well and be successful and go get a great job afterwards. And then it didn't really work out like that. That's what Henrik was saying about yesterday. Okay, yeah, how he was saying he gets really weird. Like, uh, what happened? Just tell us. When I actually got there, it was so much harder than I thought it would be. The people who encouraged me to go to uni didn't mention that leaving behind everyone you know is actually really difficult. I know they meant well, but no one had said to me, it's okay if you feel a bit lost at first. And then when I did feel lost, it seemed like everyone else was having fun, which made it harder to actually say anything. Bobby and Gary walk over laughing about something. All right, you lot, what are you chatting about? We're hearing about his dark, dark past. Nothing much. Um, Wait for Rocco to speak. Bobby looks at you and then at Rocco. Sorry, mate, didn't realize we were interrupting. It's fine, I was just telling Thotella why I never finished uni. I heard you dropped out to start your own business. Ooh, it wasn't a choice. What do you mean? I think I spent most of the first six months I was there in my room by myself. It was like I was caught in a cycle. The longer I went without making friends, the harder it got. I would turn up for election, it seemed like everyone else knew each other and was doing fine, so I just stopped going in at all. It got to a point where every time I thought about leaving my room, my heart would race. I felt like I was going to pass out. Mate, you never know what someone else's life is like. I bet you weren't the only person struggling. Yeah, I get that now, but that's how I felt. And then they sent me a letter offering me a support meeting because I hadn't been showing up. When I did go and see someone, the best thing they said to me was, if you have to choose between your health and your studies, put your health first, you can come back to your studies. Oh, that's a good little thing, though. So I took a year out, spent the rest of my loan on a van, and then never ended up going back. I mean, that's ballsy. I can't believe you had the confidence to go and do that when that's what you were going through. The longer I left it, the worse it got. Once I could take a step back, I felt so much better. I wish I'd chatted to someone sooner, to be honest. I been out of finished uni, and I probably wouldn't have been a good accountant anyway. But I couldn't figure that out when the anxiety meant I was just staring at the walls of my room. Therapy really helped me out of that spiral, but it also gave me time to figure out what was right for me. I got really into meditation, too. Couldn't have guessed that. Everyone's different. It's all about finding out what works for you. Okay, they're like, like that's fine, Rocco, but you're boring me. Do you regret not going back? Okay, to be quite honest, like, 
Uh, you don't need to feel like that, I, I guess. Sure. That tells right. Okay. Just keep listening. Oh, I should have excused myself. I'm just gonna click. Y'all, I'm, I, I don't care about this, to be quite honest. Like, if it was, like, someone like Gary or something, or, even, like, Bobby, or even, like, Noah, I'd be more into this. But I really don't care about Rocco. Like, he's just... He's just not for me. Rocco looks at the three of you. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you saying that. It's like I always say everything happens for a reason. It's just that sometimes that everything is some really difficult stuff you have to go through. To be fair, you would have made a terrible accountant with that attitude anyway. Some geezer with the biz. Okay. 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 Guys, I got a text. Ooh, okay. So let's see what the little text message says. All the islanders gather around. Islanders, it's time to find out who's been naughty and who can keep their mouth shut in today's challenge. Kiss and tell. <gasps> okay, so now we're on to part two of day six. Guys, I got a text. All the Islanders gather around Priya as she reads out the message. Islanders, it's time to find out who's been naughty and who can keep their mouth shut in today's challenge. Kiss and tell. Okay, so this is where the drama is going to start. What do you think of that? Get lippy. Sounds like we're going to be doing some kissing. She pouts and winks at the boys. A kissing challenge sounds, let's just say amazing, like, screw it, start the drama. Can I not click it? Okay, there we go. Challenge days are the best. I am totally looking forward to it. I love a challenge. I'm sure you do, Henrik. I've been getting forward to getting to know you all, and there's no way better to do that than up close and personal. I guess you better go get ready, girls. We want to be looking our best if that's what it's all about. We're not the only ones. You boys all better brush your teeth if you think we're going to be kissing you. Tell them like it is, Lottie. <gasps> okay, so this is about to be blue. There's a row of question marks facing each other on the floor of the challenge stage. On one side is a giant blackboard with columns marked girls and boys. I guess it's a girls versus boys challenge. Mate, we could use someone as smart as you down at the docks. <laughs> I don't think I could have figured that out by myself. Okay, boys, take your places. All the islanders stand on one of the question marks. Islanders, in your teams, you will have to decide which person you think did the deed in a scenario drawn from a deck of cards. Then one of the team members must kiss the person on the opposite team who you think is the answer. Every correct answer earns the team a point. Okay, the winning team will get cocktails this evening. So let me get this straight. We read something on the card and then decide who we want to kiss. Is there any reason why we shouldn't just kiss whoever we want? Yeah, because then you won't get the points. So I can either play to win, or I can use this as a chance to kiss some people. Mate, what is it with you in these challenges? There's no reason why you shouldn't just kiss who you want, Rocco. Yes, there is. He's coupled up with me. Ooh, Rocco's really up for the kissing game. He's too up for it. It's not a good look. Hope notices you frowning. Babe, it's just a game. If Rocco's going around kissing over likes, he's not going to be winning. Those cocktails are ours. Should we get on with it late? Ladies first, I think. Just try and stop me. Hope draws a chop card from a deck and reads it aloud. The boy who spent more than $500 on a first date is... Or 500 pounds. All the boys stand still in their marks. They're trying not to give anything away. Good work, team. Show no emotion. We're playing to win this challenge. And we're playing to win too, Henrik, and we're going to. Ladies are going to win. Hope draws the girls into a huddle. Okay, ladies, I'm going to have to kiss one of these boys. What are we thinking? Come on, it has to be Lucas. The dude is so obviously loaded. Uh, that doesn't mean he'd be shelling out, though. Rocco would remortgage his van to pay for dinner if he thought it would impress a girl. Does no one else think it would be Ibrahim? Well, I hope so. Kobe Beef, Champagne, and him just sitting there smoldering all night? Sign me up. Okay, which boy seems like a big spender? Oh my gosh, okay, so Henrik, now. Lucas, possibly. Gary, no. Noah, no. Rocco, Ibrahim, Bobby. I would think maybe Ibrahim. I think that's the right choice. We know he earns good money and he likes to impress people. If that's what you all think, that's what I'm going to do. Are you ready, boys? I don't know if that's right or not. The kiss is quick and gentle and she's back to the girls before you know it. Really put it out there, Hope. Noah glances at Hope, but his face hardly changes. I guess I should come lean. It was me. We got it finally for once. Too easy, I reckon. I was right. Oh, thank goodness. I just like to make sure people have a good time. All the girls look at each other and back at Ibrahim. Ibrahim is so sweet, actually. Priya looks especially interested. Ibrahim doesn't mind splashing the cash. I wouldn't mind a date with him, to be quite honest. Tell me about it. You'll have to get in line, though. 
I made the right choice coupling up with this one. My mouth is watering at thoughts of all the delicious food we'd eat. I prefer to cook what I can forage to- Okay, I don't care, Henrik. So you just like pick food in the woods and serve it to people? Of course, one time I made my date fried mushrooms and blackberry sauce on a bed of edible- Okay, I just- it was delicious. I'm sure it was. As much as I want to hear more about what bears eat for dinner, I think it's our go, lads. I'm- Gary, sweetheart, you're the bear here, not Henrik. So, he draws a card. Okay, this one says the girl once got a full makeover just for a movie night with her mates. All the boys immediately start discussing and pointing at the girls. Come on, ladies, don't give anything away. They're not even paying attention to what we're saying, but we're all thinking the same thing, right? It's gotta be thoughts, Hella. I don't think I've ever been around someone who puts so much effort into looking good. <laughs> Our character's such a queen. The girls think I'm all about looking good. Um, it was me. Like, we put effort into this. I knew that would be you. Okay, we've chosen. See, he wasn't listening at all. I swear, sometimes we could be whispering the naughtiest stuff right in their ears and these boys wouldn't even notice. You watch as Gary walks over. So the girl we think is the most likely to get a full makeover for a night in is. He walks up to you and leans in and kisses you on the lips. He's gonna kiss me. You know what? Give him a quick kiss him. Just start the drama. Kiss him back passionately. Screw it. You close your eyes and move towards him. Gary places a hand on your cheek and guides your lips together. You feel the flicker of his tongue against yours. Um, you, you guys told me to stir more drama, so we're stirring drama. You open your eyes and look around. Everyone is staring at you. Wow. Ooh, Marisol is so unhappy. You don't even like him. Anyway, we think it's Thotella. <laughs> and that is exactly right. Oh, so that's a point to the boys. Don't worry, girls. We still got this. After that kiss, I don't exactly feel all us girls are on the same team. Who's going next? <laughs> I think it should be Thotella's go. All right, before you can say anything, she's pulled the top card from the deck. Thotella, your challenge is to find the boy who has had the most partners. That's so juicy. It's the question we've all been waiting for. Come on in, ladies. This one needs a serious discussion. I'm already thinking it's Rocco. She draws you all into a huddle. Okay, which boy has been with the most girls? Rocco. I was about to say, yep, yeah, Rocco. What? To be fair, Rocco was the name in my head, too. I think everyone thinks. I think it's Rocco. If it's not Rocco, I'll be shook. I could see it maybe being Henrik, actually. I could... Let's... It could be Henrik. Or it could be... I don't know. I'd say Gary, but I don't... I think that's... A, I think Gary now, he's, like, average. Let's think of the other options real quick. I agree. I don't think we should just rock it just for the way he comes across. Maybe he's a lot more sensitive than you all realize. Girl, I f it feels like he just want to be with Rocco Marisol, so... I think he cares more about deep, meaningful connections. You're the one that's got to go up there and kiss someone, Thotella. What do you think? I could play the game where I could think about the person I want to kiss. Um... I think I still think it's Rocco. I'm gonna try. I guess pretty much decided then. It's not what I think, but whatever. I think you should go with Rocco. Come on, girls are waiting. What? I'm probably gonna be right. He pouts his lips, ready for a kiss. We all know it's me. You step forward and glance down the line of boys. Everyone thinks it's Rocco, but I just kiss Rocco. I think it's Rocco. Let's do this. You walk over to Rocco, is standing and smile at him. He grins back and purses his lips. You really think it's me? Uh, just, 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 a, just a, a little, just, just a little. Rick goes, okay, yeah. Keeping it PG, thought to like, yeah, we're not really trying to, that was totally succulent, right? <laughs> He's using the word. You're still not using that right, mate. Henrik looks confused. Oh, so the question on everyone's lips, and especially on Rocco's, was Tatella right? You seriously thought it was Rocco? I'm not usually going to boast about this, but... All the lads know it's me. What? Marisol raises an eyebrow. <laughs> All the lads know and I don't. Yeah, we talked about in the first date. This guy has some serious numbers. I guess you're wrong about Rocco. Gary's been with the most women. I don't get what they all saw. I bet his nan is proud to throw that out there. Gary notices you frowning at him and calls out to you. You want to know whether the ladies call me Fred Flintstone? I do. Because I make your bed rock. How you've managed to get anyone into bed with that kind of line. 
I think that's hilarious. Does anyone mind if I have a turn? Okay, so we flopped. It wasn't Rocco. But listen to how polite he is. I think the first thing he said this whole time. You go ahead, honey. Yeah, go for it, mate. Lucas draws a card. There is the girl who was once kicked out of a club for dancing on the tables. The boys immediately start talking over each other. Ooh, Priya waits until they're definitely not listening and whispers to you. Okay, ladies, fess up. Which one of you was it? To be honest, I think it would be Thotella. Oh my gosh, wh- why is this? A- Do you think so? I can totally see you getting up and dancing on the tables and having a good time, but literally, like, that's not, that was not me. I feel you. I was figured if I was in the mood to get up and dance on the table, I definitely wasn't going to be able to take my feet when I did it. Yeah, pretty much. Who was it then? Okay, I think it's, I think it's Marisol. Um, definitely, oh, dang it, I was waiting for a plot twist. Ladies, are you ready? You all turn and face the boys. Maybe Lottie then. So we all got together and the girl we thought was most likely to be getting up on the tables in the club was... Thotella! Everyone be thinking it's us. He runs over to you and goes for a kiss. Oh boy, like, kiss him back gently. Like, ooh, he's zooming. His lips are soft and slight sweet as they touch yours. He pulls away and smiles at you. Good answer, but wrong. What? How? Obviously, it's hope. It was hope. I should have seen that coming. To be- yeah, I can see it. I can see it, actually, to be quite honest, which means it's our turn again. You better watch out, boys. One of us is coming to kiss you. Marisol runs up to the stack of cards and grabs the top one. Okay, I've got to find the boy who gets a back stack and crack wax every month. <gasps> Lottie smirks at the boys. I'm glad one of you is suffering to stay beautiful. They're all pretty well groomed, to be fair. On the surface, sure, but what about when you get down there and it's just like a rainforest? (laughs) Priya Sims a bit turns off. Um, I don't, I I really don't care to be quite honest. It's more stare, personality's more important. More power to you, babes. It's not for me, though. So who do we think it is, then? Let's rule out Rocco and Henrik for sure. Both of them are all about their rugged lifestyle, lifestyle and living all natural. Agreed, I'm definitely not seeing those boys in a salon anytime soon. Agreed, and I know it's not Noah. So who's left? Okay, so I think the guy is Gary. Okay, it's not Gary because he has chest hair. Ibrahim, I think it's Lucas. Lucas seems like the type. I can see that. Hope looks off into the distance. I think Hope can too. Hope shakes her head and blushes like she's been caught. Ooh, it sounds like we're on agreement then. Marisol, you should kiss. You turn to where Marisol was standing and realize she's already walked off towards the boys. Looks like someone couldn't wait to get her lips on us. Before anyone else can react, Marisol walks straight up to Rocco and kisses him. All eyes turn to Lottie. <gasps> For once, it seems like she doesn't know what to say. I don't know if to say. I'm shook. Marisol just full on kissed Rocco. Call out Marisol and Rocco. I'm. T- oh, should I call them out, y'all? Call them out. What are you guys thinking? I know we're all playing a game, but we're getting off with each other like that is not cool. You're the one to talk, Dotella. Over oh, getting drama. Thanks, Dotella. Did you not hear us saying it definitely wouldn't be Rocco? I wanted to get on with playing the game. I think some of us are playing more of a game than others, babe. Oh, we stirred up the drama. I'm living. Speaking of which, maybe we should crack on. This game is probably heating up. I want to keep things spicy. Go on, Rocco. Take a card. Rocco looks around and then grabs the top one. So I've got to kiss the girl who... Canceled a romantic weekend with her boyfriend because her friend got set up on a blind date. Oh, that's sweet. Well, it wasn't Marisol, was it? Oh. <laughs> What? Whoever did this is a girl who cares more about her mates than some ah, That drama is starting. Come on, Lottie. It was just a kiss. Hope waits until the boys are distracted. Who was it then? Dotella always puts the girls first. I bet she's done something like that. It was me. We'll just say it was me for fun. I'd do anything for my friends. Rocco's coming over. Please don't kiss us. Rocco struts up and down the line. The girl who I think would drop everything for her mates is someone who is passionate fire and always true to what she wants. I think it's Marisol. There is something going on between these two. He walks up to Marisol and kisses her. She leans in and kisses him back hard. There's a sudden hush and all you can hear is the sounds of their lips. Marisol's hand slides over Rocco's chest. 
Nobody knows what to say. What is going on? I cannot believe I'm saying this. You've got no idea what loyalty means, Rocco. Your answer has just shown that. Lottie's furious. She needs to keep it together. She's right to be angry. This is a little much. She needs to keep it together. She's right to be angry. Go off, sis. Lottie's absolutely right. I know it's a game, but that's totally disrespectful. These two are using the challenge to get off with each other. And I'm here having to just stand here and watch. Um, guys, I just, this is so exciting. We're really staring the bot. Emotions are running pretty high here, but there's still a whole lot of these cards left. He turns to look at you. All the drama has kind of killed the vibe. Even if some of that is on you. <laughs> you girls could probably use the cocktail party tonight. Want to try for another one? This game is really good for the drama. If we carry on playing, I could get a chance to kiss another boy and win the cocktails. And maybe I'll find out a juicy secret too. Um, yes, we are. Let's do this. Yes, I tell you, I love this game. Bobby grabs a card, then runs over and hands it to you. I checked to make sure this last one was nice and spicy. Okay, I'm looking for the boy who has. You turn over the card and read it aloud. Ben caught out naked in public. Oh, there's sounds like Lottie burst out laughing. It's Bobby. Wait, what? That's what it says. I guess we should get deciding then. Because I really want to know the answer to this one. I feel it has to be Bobby. The girls gather around you for a second. All the tension is gone. Who do we think it is then? It's my choice. I may as well choose whoever I want. Okay, I think it's Bobby. Really do think so? I suppose it could be any of these guys, really. I don't think I'll ever understand what lads get at to on a night out. Yeah, go for it, thought Tella. After what we've just seen, I don't think much is going to surprise me anymore. Oh, it just the tea was spilled. You wait for the boys to finish discussing, then walk straight over to Bobby. Go full on with our Bobby. You grab Bobby inside your hands up as, oh, I thought I was about to be like down his pants. It's his back, though. He wraps his arms around your waist and tips you backwards, slightly lowering you into the kiss. Your tongues find each other. You close your eyes and enjoy the feeling of him taking your weight before he pulls you back up. Completely succulent. Abraham shakes his head sadly at Henrik. Nah, mate, still not using it right. Sorry, thought Tella. It was me. Oh, it was, that, I guess that makes sense. Story, please. It wasn't all like it sounds. I'm, 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 of course it isn't. I've been mountain biking on a chair where I live. It was a hot day. I don't care, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were sweaty and dirty. Why don't I have a quick dip? How fun. Lush. Okay, no one cares. Okay, so that's fun. And they call the park warden. That's nice. Great story. Okay. That's embarrassing. That's that's hilarious. Ha 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 I think it's not about the time. That was worse but wasn't it? Okay, bye bye. I don't care. Let's just move on. Okay, okay, small monster. Mate, that's amazing. This game's been a bit of a weird one for me. He glances at Maris like, yeah, we've seen a lot in this game, but it's totally worth it for that. Was it though? I think we're all gonna call you Swamp Monster from now on. I guess that's it for the game then. Seems like it. Scores on the doors. Hope looks at the blackboard. I think we didn't really keep a score for a couple of those. I think someone scored, though. On the blackboard, at least. It's a draw. Her phone beeps. Congratulations to both teams. As a challenge to draw, both teams will be rude. Cock doesn't even Okay, so they all can get lit. Fair, it's fair. Well played, boys. I think we all need a drink and a ketchup after that. Okay, so we're on to part three of day six now. I was so worried about us all after everything that happened this afternoon. I guess you're talking about Rocco and Marisol. Why I'm so upset about it. Why are you worried? Why are you worried? It didn't happen, you did it. It just makes me think about how we get on as a group. It's so weird to me that we can all be having fun and not notice what's going on right under our noses. What do you mean? Well, Priya and I were just talking. I don't know if we should be talking about this, but I think this thing with Rocco and Marisol is bigger than just today. I think so, too. They kissed a little too passionately. Mm. What do you mean? It was weird when him and Marisol kissed, tw kissed twice in the challenge day, right? Did I think I... It's like it came out of nowhere. That's just what we said. Like, they just go really passionate. It was like they both knew what to do without even thinking. Have they been hooking up behind some backs? I think they have. So we wanted to know, when did those two get so close? And then we both said the same thing at the same time. What did you say? Well, has Rocco ever tried it on with you when Lottie wasn't around? Yeah. Yes. That one time. He tried it, but... 
he I wasn't interested. Yeah, he doesn't do it for me. And I think it's this whole I'm so deep thing. I don't think much about it until today, but he came to chat to me as soon as the new boys arrived. What was he saying? Just about how he wanted to recouple and stuff. Not like he was really trying it on, more like if things went that way and we were both single. But I think that's because I said I was happy with Abraham for now. He said the same thing to me when he thought nobody was looking. I said I wasn't interested, but I bet he would have pushed it further if he thought there was a chance between us. Mr. Rocco is out here playing around. Mm. We think he must have started chatting to all the girls after Lucas and Henrik came in. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, he is... I think he's been playing us because... I don't know, y'all. Something about Rocco's always seemed off. Oh, sweetie. She hugs you again. I just don't get why he would do this. We all came here to find love and it seems like he's just been playing a game. Because remember like the one night he like snuck out after us and was like, oh, and like everything. It was like on like day one or two or something. It was like way back then, but hmm. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We haven't talked to anyone else about this yet. I wonder how Lottie is feeling. And Marisol. <laughs> there is drama with Marisol these days. If she's gone behind everyone's backs, that's really snaky. But she probably doesn't know Rocco's been chatting to all the girls either. You're right. All we know is what he said so far. What do you think we should do? Um, I want to... Let's get all the girls... Or do we talk to Marisol? Talk to, let's get all the girls together. Yeah, I think we're going to need to talk this out as a group. Good idea. I don't want this to come between us. We've got cocktails with the girls tonight. And because it was a draw, the boys will be having their little party too. I think there'll be a really good time to catch up and see what's going on. You turn to leave and Priya calls out. Botella, make sure you're bringing it when you go out there. It's all gonna bit topsy-turvy in the villa and we want to turn the boys' heads the right way tonight. Okay, so she's right. Okay, we gotta look on points. Um, just getting where's uh Ooh, I forgot we bought that. Wait, where's the basic one? Okay, this is the basic one, the black one. I remember we bought the cute blue one, so let's do this one. I suppose I should go and try to sort some of this out. Or I could just have a bit of fun. Who should I spend time with first? Ooh, okay, so let's go spend some time. Not her. Not her. L oh, is that our only options? Where's everyone else? I'm not going to talk to her. Well, actually, let's go talk to her because... Well, let's go talk to Lottie. I don't know what her feelings are. Lottie's sitting by herself staring into the black night sky. She must be really hurt. What should I say? Are you stargazing? Come join me if you like. I was just checking out some constellations trying to think about what the future might hold for all of us. Lottie's been thinking about the future. How does it look for you? Nothing is in alignment for me at the moment. But I think we can all see that now. I just can't believe what happened today. You think you know someone and then they can do something and just flips it all on its head. What, who is she talking about? You mean Marisol? I was thinking about Rocco, but she's not exactly blameless in all this either. Rocco kissing Marisol like that today was just... I blame myself a little bit. I saw it coming and I tried to tell myself I was wrong. Okay, Lottie says... How did you know? Never underestimate the power of a woman's intuition. She raises her eyebrows at you. No, I'm just joking. The first couple of chats I had with Rocco, I realized he wasn't someone who liked being tied down. And when I found out that he was still talking to the other girls, you knew he was doing that? I guess I just didn't think too much about it. Okay, so she knew. I thought he was just a bit rattled by the new boys coming in. You girls have all had your heads turned a bit recently. Even how. So it's not surprising we'd miss something if we were looking the other way. Lottie's saying, yeah, I guess that's fair. You can see why I wasn't too bothered then. I've probably been going a bit too hard on being loyal in here. If you think being loyal is going to get you anywhere, then it, this is a good reminder that it's not necessarily true. I've had to learn that the hard way. All of that talk we had the other day has helped a lot. Maybe we should go all out there and get what we want from now on. That is... Sure, sis, you do that. Glad I could help. Anyway, you don't need to spend all evening chatting to me. I'll be alright. I want to get this sorted out and get back to having some fun. All the girls are going to meet on the roof terrace in a bit. Perfect, I'll see you there. I think we've got plenty to sort out. The old Lottie would be itching to give Marisol a piece of her mind. I think I can be better than that. Oh, look at Lottie, but I'm not making any promises. Okay, let me go see if I can talk to... I don't care about the boys. Let's go see what's happening with Miss Marisol over here. 
Since we are a very rocky, Marisol's lying on the daybed staring at her phone. She sighs when you walk over. Uh, offer her support. Waiting for a text. Something like that. I keep hoping he'll message me asking for a chat. Do you want to talk about you and Rocco? It's not like that. There isn't me and Rocco at the moment. We just two people that kissed today. Marisol says she and Rocco only kissed today. Did she though? That makes it easier for me. Marisol slightly relaxes and smiles at you. Thanks for saying that. I wasn't expecting any sympathy from the girls, to be honest. Not if Lottie had her way anyway. So what happened? I honestly hadn't thought about Rocco until the other day. Okay, so Rocco is out here playing it. Mm-hmm. I think it was that Henrik and Lucas came in. Of course it was. Of course it was. This little snake. He just pulled me aside and we started talking. When I said I wasn't that into Gary at the moment, it was like something clicked between us. We didn't do anything else then, but when I had the chance to kiss him in the challenge today, I had to do it just to see if what we had was real. I think he'd been holding back until he knew that he wouldn't be stepping on anyone's toes. He's been really, he's really respectful. Uh, she has no idea Rocco has been, let's just break it to her gently. She got to know, hon. I don't know how to tell you this. Rocco hasn't just been talking to you, he's been talking to all the girls. I think you were the only one who was sweet enough to trust him, though. Marisol stops talking and shakes her head. I feel so stupid all of a sudden. I like to think I'm good at reading people, but maybe I've got this all wrong. Obviously, I've made some mistakes here, but do you at least see why I acted the way I did? I mean, we can see why, like, um, I, it would just make her feel better, I suppose. You would, no, not really, I'm lying. So, so yeah, so I totally get it. That means I was trying to feel like I was all alone in this. I don't want Maris on our bad side, like, our too bad side. Like, you know, there's a moment of silence as the two of you gather your thoughts. So what now? But we're going to have a meeting with the ladies. I need some time to think about this. All the girls are going to meet on the roof terrace in a bit. I think we should talk about it as a group then. Guys, I got a text. Wow, she really is loud when she wants to be. That must be about the evening drinks. I guess I better go meet the girls up on the roof terrace. Okay, so this is gonna we're all gonna talk about it. Hope is pairing drinks for everyone when you walk onto the terrace. She glides over and hands you a glass full of ice fruit and a purple liquid. Cocktails with the girls. So this is nice. I'm so glad we can all just spend some time together, just girls. What a lovely evening. Ooh, Hope is really laying it on. It is nice. I'm glad you agreed, thought Zella. I think Hope's right. Obviously, we need to clear the air a bit. A bit. Do you have something to say to me, Lottie? Ladies, can we just take it easy for a second? I know we're also thinking about what happened this afternoon in this challenge. When Marisol kissed Rocco, you mean? I think a few of us maybe weren't exactly playing by the girl code. But it was a challenge. They're supposed to be fun. It has obviously brought up some issues, though. I know Thotella has been trying to sort this out. Why don't we hear from her first? All the girls turn to you. Oh, what do you think we should do, Thotella? Uh, let's talk about, let's talk about Rocco. I agree. I'm a bit worried he's not who we think he is. Marisol clears her throat. It seems like a lot of you are disappointed in the way I acted today. But like Hope says, it was just a challenge. Hun, this isn't about the kiss. It feels as though the kiss was part of something bigger. You've been talking in secret for a while, right? <laughs> I thought we had something special. They call us straight up, call her out, even if it turns out that isn't true. Even I figured it out now. As much as I don't like it, I've got to admit that I understand. We've all been played by Rocco, and I think we should do something about it. Ooh, Lottie wants to say Rocco. Yeah, we should do something. Stir the pot. Yes, girl power. I reckon we cut him out. Oh, we do what? Avoid him, give him the cold shoulder, that kind of thing. I'm done with that boy. I don't want to talk to him, be with him. Should we avoid talking to Rocco? Let's do it. Whatever. You and me, girl. Ain't no man going to come between us. I don't know about that. I'm not exactly happy with him at the moment, but I like to think we can all still get on. I think it's natural if we're a little frosty with him. He's played all of us and it'll take a while before we're all good again. I've got no intention of not talking to Rocco. I know he hasn't exactly shown his best side recently, but maybe he's not the only one. I genuinely do like this guy, and I'm sorry if that's a problem for you. She stands up and walks. Oh, she's walking out? There was a silence for a while. So, that's awkward. Good meeting, guys. It could have gone worse, to be fair. 
She sadly pours the last few drops of melted ice at the cocktail jug. At least the drinks were nice. You all seem to head back inside. Okay, so... The boys must have gone back inside. As you head back towards the bedroom, you saw Gary sitting outside by himself. He looks over at you. You really know how to stand out that tell up. <laughs> thank you. Every time I see you in the outfit, I'm always like, wow, thank you. Every time I see you in the outfit, stunned. Thanks, Gary. There's a pause. There's a bit of a frosty atmosphere around here tonight, just a little bit. He pretends he's shivering and warms his hands by the fire. Come and join me. Ooh. You move to sit down opposite of him and he grins at you. What are you doing all the way over there? I meant come sit next to me. Oh my, should I? Let's move a little nearer, but not as close enough. You saw him near enough that your hands could touch if you wanted to. You know, we're just really just, you know, you know. You said, what are you up to? I thought the girls would be involved in the scene with Rocco, but I'd like if you had time to hang out there with me. I'm definitely a sim flirty buzz with Gary tonight, but I'm not trying to... Uh, oh yeah, I'm, mm, let's just, no. Oh, sorry for distracting then. Sorry, Gary. The two of you sit in silence for a moment. I was here to be first, to be fair. A good point. You get up, leaving Gary sitting by the fire by himself. Okay, yeah, like, it's just like, Gary's nice, and I'm like, I've really warmed up to Gary, but I'm not ready to buy gyms to spend time with Gary, if you know what that means. Like, I'm, I'm, we're with Bobby right now, but, you know, options are open, but mm, we'll, we'll see if Gary can get a little better. What a night. Gotta get ready for bed anyway. Okay, okay, let's do our little, um, do we have any more? No, we just have the one. Ooh. Okay, let's just wear, like, nightgown, our little blue outfit. This will do for tomorrow morning. Coming up next, the boys are in trouble. And not just because Henrik has borrowed Lottie's hairbrush, when the girls have to decide which boy is the most dateable, and the losers are in danger of going home. Okay, so that was the end of day six, and tea was so Build. We learned Rocco is out here flirting with everyone behind everyone's back, and he has just been a little snake in the grass out there. So I can see it though. I felt that from the first time meeting him when I thought he was all about us, and I was like, Oh, Rocco. And then the more the story, I was like, Oh, Rocco. So I don't know, but Marisol and Rocco have something there. This is getting crazy, y'all. There was so much drama. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the fact I did the hour long video. I did a whole day in one video. Um, um, I'm going to try to do them for other days. Um, we'll see though. No promises, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this to let me know I should do more of this. Subscribe if you haven't already and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching as always. Bye everyone. I'm